If you live anywhere that gets cold, you know the extremities like fingers are the most likely to get chilly. Let's make some heated gloves to solve that problem. To make the DIY heated gloves, you're gonna need a few things. To start off with, you'll need some carbon fiber tape, which is a resistive material, and when a current is applied, it generates heat. There's a link in the description where you can get this. And you're gonna need some heavy duty batteries. I'm using 18650 3.7 volt batteries. You'll need two for each glove. And you'll need a battery holder that holds two of these batteries, one for each glove. Optional components are a resistor and an LED, and a pair of nice tight fitting gloves. You'll Need them to be tight because we're going to stick these inside of another pair of gloves. Putting an ohmmeter to the carbon fiber tape shows its resistance, and this stuff will emit infrared heat when voltage is applied to it. So we'll take a length of this tape and we'll split it in half for each glove. Now it's time to get to work with hot glue as we'll run a small bead along each finger. I'm using a high temperature glue and heat gun that operates at about 190 degrees. As we apply a bead, we'll lay the tape up and down each finger, around the glove, and to the thumb. The glove is now ready for our power circuit, so we're going to build that using the battery holder, a 1.5K resistor, an LED, and I also included a small switch to turn it on. I glued the switch to the side of the battery holder, and have the resistor and the LED LED, which will indicate power when we turn on our heated gloves. Now I'll add my batteries to the battery holder and flip on the switch and our LED lights up to let us know we've got juice. Now it's time to finish our glove by laying the component down and adding a small bead of hot glue to the one end of the carbon tape. Our positive wire will get laid in place and held until the hot glue dries. Then we'll add another bead of hot glue to the other end of the carbon tape and our negative wire goes there. Now it's time to fire things up and basically what we're doing is creating a short which will generate heat. It takes a little while for the gloves to heat up and as you can see here we're only in about the 70 degree range. But after a few minutes we're hitting the 140 degree range which is nice and cozy. Then, for some extra warmth and to make this look a little bit better, I put my heated gloves inside a larger glove. And that gave me room to fit our power pack under that as well. Now we're set. In my testing, these gloves stayed warm for about an hour. So keep your fingers warm this winter and build yourself a pair of DIY heated gloves. And not only is it important to stay warm, but it's important to have a nice, smooth shave. And for that, I can only recommend Harry's.